action. Hi everybody, this is Matt from Algae Research and Supply. Welcome to the Dirty Lab Coat. Today we are going to be doing a quick little experiment where we're going to find out if uh, uh, temperature affects the rate of our algae bead photosynthesis. So we're using chlorella vulgaris, which we use in our algae beads. So what I did was I took nine of our algae beads um, in the snap cap vials. Uh, we call these the ready to go algae beads. And I put them into a small um, uh, beaker that had three different temperatures in it. Bing! I grabbed three small beakers and filled one of them with ice water, room temperature water, and hot tap water. The hot tap water turned out to be about 44 degrees Celsius, 20 degrees Celsius for room temperature, and about 2 degrees Celsius for the ice water. So I put these into the container, and you'll get to see the uh, time lapse video. Maybe we'll put it in a corner here. And I let them sit there for about 45 minutes. After 45 minutes, this is they went from being yellow clear down there where the pH is below seven. And for the cold temperature, this is the ice water, pretty much nothing happened. They stayed down below 7.6. For the room temperature, those those ones, uh, they did, their, photos their photosynthesis did occur. So we actually, um, well, photosynthesis occurred in the first one too, but this one, the rate was a little bit higher. This one got the pH up to somewhere in 8.2 to 8.4 range. And finally, in the warm, uh, warm water one, from the warmest tap water, these reached all the way up to maybe nine. So quite a bit of change went on with the photosynthetic rates there. So this leads me to believe that there might be some kind of relationship with temperature and uh, photosynthetic rates. And I think this has to do with a lot of the enzyme kinetics that go on with photosynthesis. So, and I'll give you a little wink hint too, teachers out there. If you increase the temperature above around 45, you're going to kill the algae because the proteins will actually denature and no longer function. So you might be able to find a nice curve where and then where it drops off entirely if you get it hot enough. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the Dirty Coat Lab Coat. These are some amazing algae bead experiments to do, and we hope that you guys can do more with us. Thank you.